you are presenting a very good team to the Argentine GRC. But you also mentioned there's a likelihood that you know uh, it could be turned to what the situation 30 years ago. Some voters may feel that you are you know, you're going for broke, or holding them ransom. Either you will vote for us, or you go back to no elected opposition in parliament. Or some voters may have this concern. What is your response to that? Well, I don't know why people should have that concern, but th that's a fact of life. I'm already 50-something, next election is 60. So no matter how, if there are no new opposition member being elected, like what happened in the past 20 years, I think voter eventually have to face that. It's on the contrary, they have decided to move out, to hope that Singapore opposition will have a future, Singapore will have at least, you know, uh, some opposition in parliament. In light of that, I don't think the voters should think that they are being held to ransom. And of course, it's a coincidence that I think Mr. Chiam also moved out. Otherwise, people think that maybe there's a for the pass it, possibly. But it happens at the same time. So that is why it's watershed election. <笑>我想如果你要讲为难的话 uh, I would say Soma is a bonus to us, but the Workers' Party has to decide and plan for such a major initiative over time. And decision based on proper calculation of risk and the necessity of making such a decision and you know, uh, taking a, such a high state uh, decision. Yes, I think Soma came on board, uh, is a bonus to us. Sorry? If we are lost, are then? But I think I think uh, we have not uh, gone we uh, not reached pulling day yet. So don't believe that we're going to lose la <laughs> Yes. Mr. Lau, are you a gambling man? No. Yeah, but it's different from gambling because we make calculation. We see the necessity of doing so, not for game, but for Singapore. Uh, on, how do you Sorry? Have you taken into calculation uh, the question just now? What if you lose that scenario? Have you thought of that? Uh, uh, yes, of course. But that has to be decided <laughs> by Singapore, by the voters, right? We, we can calculate to a point, but what is important is fundamentally, we trust the judgment of the voters. This is what we decided, this is what we presented to you. And you decide. You decide what kind of Singapore do you want? What kind of parliament do you want? We propose a first world parliament. <coughs> so Singapore have to decide, the voter has to decide. What we can do is, we do our best, we present to you a good team, a credible team, for you to choose. And the rest is your decision. <coughs> I don't think I would want to go into the detail as to why, but I'm stating merely a fact. 
When I was elected in 1991, we got five elected members. Or four. Later on, I think JBJ came in, right? In 97. Yeah. So at least we got four elected members. Uh, then subsequently, 50% gone. And until now. Uh, so that take us 20 years. Very hard. Well, at that point where you and uh, yes, yes, of course. I think it's a struggle. It is. Not 20, I mean, just imagine 20 years of Miao Gang. Where was the final deciding? What was the last straw? Yeah. Actually, there is not such thing as triggering or point. All these were, we know what we have to do. I know what I have to do. But the question is, how to go about it? What to do about it? and to implement it. The implementation part is something that is challenging. Do you have a message to Now that you have come out, you have said you have explained to them on nomination day. Now that you have decided to come out, what is your message to them? I think uh, instead of giving a message, they have been quite very supportive. And this is an email which I just received last night. But this is one of those emails that they sent to me. Huh? Dear Mr. Lowe, Tomorrow is the day where I have waited for long to know if you are staying on in Gaugan or moving on to contest a GRC. If you are in Gaugan, I will be extremely happy like many Gaugan residents and will surely give you my full support. Nevertheless, if you decide, if you decided to partner your mates like Chen Shou Mao, Xiu Lin, blah, 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 to create, <laughs> creating an A team to contest in a GRC, and then black cat, best Arjunit. <laughs> so that the area under WP cat can be widened. At the same time, council can effectively run both down. Quite logical. <laughs> I will still support your fellow teammates, and you will be feeling, whoever you'll be feeling in Algon SMC as your successor. Regardless of the decision tomorrow, I will stand by your team and the decision that you guys have last have made. And lastly, I wish you and your team great success and all the best in whatever, wherever you all identify to contest in this coming GE 2011. That is one of the emails, and uh, as you see quite a number of such uh, emails or wishes uh, before. Question for Sylvia. And what's your thought that now Chairman finally decided to join you in the team in uh, I mean, this time will be different from what you're to Mm -hmm. what, what is your question? Yeah, how do you when when you first told you that rather you that he's joining you? Of course, I feel happy. Um, he's now the leader of the team. <laughs> <laughs> I see. <laughs> yeah, but we are we are I think happy to um, have reached this point when we can actually make this decision. Uh, as announced, actually for quite some time. Uh, our target for this GE is really to break through a GRC, and we are serious about that. So it makes sense for us to focus uh, resources towards that. So we are just implementing what we have said. Actually, the part party has made progress to the point where we are able to make this decision. Because in contesting a GRC, you need a team, you need a party, not an individual. And we have been painstakingly building up since uh, you know, I took over in 2001, took over the party, and then in 2006 we keep our removal until today. I think there is a progress made. Whatever the outcome is something else, but at least the Workers' Party today is, is able to make this move, to build a credible team in a GRC, and to present to the people of Singapore as a political party, a credible, a rational one, and a respectable party. Ian from the other news, uh, Mr. Chen, how do you feel being part of this A-class team? What are your thoughts? A-class <laughs> team. <laughs> 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 well, we've told Singapore before that, uh, in our view, winning a GRC is an important goal uh, for the development of... Uh, Singapore's political system. Uh, we are saying it again today 
with our actions. And all of us, as worker party members, were taking a small step forward in the hope that we'll be able to help Singapore take a big step forward. Did you have a part to play with Mr. Lau's uh, decision to, to join our journey? Well, I signed the, the candidate form, did I? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Lau, in uh, 2006, uh, in the, on Victory Day, in my last interview with you, you talked about the need for the funding. You, you need the what? Money, the money to upgrade the estate. For yes. The so that's the reality. So in all the scenario game plans, uh, it was either the Workers' Party going for 12 single member seats <coughs> or a GRC to prove to the people that you, know, you are ready for the next step. But today is a sign that we are moving to the next step. So my question is, uh, with your permission from Mr. Chen, you're a strategist. You don't go into this without a plan. So how are you going to get the funding? I mean, if you look at politics like Malaysia, you have a federal government and you have Trenganu or Kalantan, you have royalties, but the money goes to the state. How are you going to, how do you manage to convince the public in that area and Hobart that you can deliver the goods? What's the master plan? I mean, are we going to hear this uh, today or do we have to wait for your rally speech to, to hear more about this? We just share some light on that. Well, I have uh, been in Aogang for 20 years. And have you visited Aogang before? Was he a slum? <laughs> no, right? So even uh, without, without the kind of funding, we can maintain the town well. And if you're talking about funding, then Singaporeans will question why are public funds used in such a manner? Why is public fund being used for partition advantage? I remember MMD said before when I was just elected, because I told people in Aogang, the government got money, you got no government has money, you got no money. So MMD said, government's money is people's money. Then how come you are using people's money to threaten the people? To say, you know, if you vote for opposition, maybe you don't get the funding. What kind of first world government we have? I think <coughs> Singaporean will have to respond to that. Do you want to be continue to be threatened by the PAP? You have to decide. And we are putting forward for you to make a statement. What what do you want to add on? No, I, I think there's, there is hypothetical how do I plan. When I become the government, I show you the plan. <laughs> because whatever plan boils down to one simple thing. Where is your money come from? Where is the PAP's money come from? From the PAP? Where? People's money. Simply because of the government. So let's don't get all this plan and all these to well, hoodwink people because the opposition cannot plan. Simply because of the government, you control the money. If I become government, I will show you the plan. Beautiful, better than you. <笑>你不要给他太大的压力吧 
做出了什么事情，做了些什么贡献。饶兴龙在工人党在这十年里面，做出了为国、为党、为群众的这些工作，我觉得不管具体，都应该去知道一下，应该去了解一下